Hi guys, um, so this video is a mixture of clips from the last three weeks. I haven't posted any videos for the last three weeks. I've been filming videos, but I haven't actually had a chance to edit them and upload them. So I'm just going to make this one video of like this clips throughout the three weeks. And I should be back on schedule. So sorry about that, but enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. How are you all doing? I know, it's been like a w over a week since I uploaded the video. Um, I am still recovering from everything that's been going on right now. Um, so, today is going to be another update video. I know I'm doing a lot of updates, but I have a lot going on right now, medically, and I just want to give you guys a bit of an update plus just do some fun things in this video so um firstly we'll talk about my heart so about a month ago now i was diagnosed with pot syndrome so pot syndrome is a postural orthotic tachycardia syndrome so it's when my heart rate goes up crazy when I stand up. So when I go from laying down to standing up, my heart rate goes up. My blood pressure kind of goes up and down. Um, and it causes me to faint and get dizzy and just all that stuff. Um, so pretty much what hap is happening is I have a lack of blood flow from my feet to my head reduced blood flow from my head, feet to my head when I go to stand up so that's what causes all the fainting and the dizziness and my heart rate to go so crazy because my blood my heart is having to beat faster to reduce the blood flow so um for the last month and a bit I've been dealing with that more frequently we're trying to get on top of it um, with different treatments since I've been diagnosed with it. So firstly, we started with just the salt treatment where I just increased my salt. I had salt tablets every morning, adding salt to every meal I had, um, getting extra salt in my meals. So all that stuff and having a Gatorade every day. Um, so I have Gatorade. You can see Gatorade bottles sitting there. I have to have at least one of them a day. Um, so that was what I first started with for the first like month um, and I was still getting really bad symptoms in my chest like I was still getting really bad chest pain um, my heart would like sting like I would get a stinging pain in my chest like right here um, so I had another follow up with my GP last week and he started me on this new tablet um, which is for the heart and but the thing is it can cause blood pressure issues so we're just watching that I only just started a week ago I'll leave the name right here um, so yeah on the pot side of things the last week and a bit I've been feeling good I yes I'm still getting my symptoms but not as severe not as bad as they were so I'm feeling good I still have the moment a couple moments you know where I do feel like I'm gonna pass out or whatever. So whenever I do get those symptoms, I just sit down, lay down or whatever. Have my Gatorade, have a drink of water, increase my salt if I need to, check my levels and rest, then get back up again. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing, which has been good. So that's a heart, my heart side of things. Now, the main issue right this second that I'm dealing with is my knee. So, about three four weeks ago now um i woke up one morning in severe pain with my knee it was really sore like i could hardly walk and i was trying to remember what i did the day before i couldn't remember but at the time but then i 
just went on with my day, just thought, you know what, this is my usual knee pain. I'll just have my anti inflammatories. I sit and rest and I should be good to go. A week went by, the pain was getting worse, my knee was swelling up. And I was still trying to remember, what did I do the day before? Then I remembered that it was a Thursday night. I had tennis the day before. I had tennis training. So I must have, at one stage when I was playing tennis, I must have twisted it somehow. Because you know when you're playing tennis, you, you're always running around, you're always jumping and landing in awkward positions. So I must have done that in training and just pulled my knee at some point. But I did hear, I remember hearing a pop. And I just thought it was just my usual joints just cracking. So I didn't really think of anything about it. So I just monitored it. I went to the physio. He said, saw it because I usually have physio appointments anyway. He saw it. He's like, yeah, that doesn't look good. Just I said, rest as much as possible and put this knee brace on. So I put a knee brace on, went on with the days. A week later went by, went back to see him. My knee had swelled up so much more. I could not, it got to the point where I could physically not bend my knee anymore. I couldn't even straighten my knee properly. So it was just stuck in one position and it was really painful, could hardly walk. And um, so that was last week. Um, I also went and saw the doctor last week. No, sorry. No, that wasn't last week. That was a couple of weeks ago. Went and saw the doctor as well, the GP. And she looked at it and she's sending me for MRI scans. Now, that day I called up the MRI place and they said, yeah, we can give you an appointment on the 26th, which was two weeks away. So I've been waiting for a whole two weeks to get this scan. I'm getting a scan tomorrow to find out exactly what is wrong with my knee. I have had three different doctors, or well, three different opinions. I've seen two different doctors in my physio, three different opinions, and that will you know, three different appointments about my knee and they've all been the same opinions they all think I have done my MCL plus my um my meniscus in my knee so they all think I've torn it <sighs> which is great because it's not great timing right now because I know I'm getting ready for nationals in October So, yeah, not great, not great at all. <clears throat> um, so, he changed my knee brace to something more com compression. Hang on. So, I've got this knee brace on, it's more compression sleeve. Um, so, I used to have just to have a brown normal brace, but he's put me in a compression sleeve. Um, now, this is literally, okay. So, yeah, this is my good knee. This is how far, like, that's completely straight, as you can see. Completely straight. Yeah, this is as far as I can get my leg straight. Like, that is not straight whatsoever. Like, that's as far as I can get it. Um, and this is as far as I can bend it. So just with those symptoms, um, plus the swelling, plus the pain I'm getting, um, it all adds up to being a meniscus tear, an MCL tear. So that's why they think I've done it and I have to get the scans done to, to confirm it. Um, so yeah, not great timing and I've been in extreme pain like just the last week like this last week, I have been in so much pain. Like I am hardly sleeping because of it. Um, my doctor's has given me a week off work. I've been going to work with it, but we're not helping. Um, but I haven't been able to take time off. But now I've been forced to take time off because of my knee. So I physically cannot go to work because of my knee. Um, he doesn't want me to go to work. Because my work involves standing on my feet for eight hours a day um, and constantly moving and all that stuff. So, yeah, let me go to work um, until we get my scans done at Glees and get the results to see what 
it is and um yeah then we have a plan and forward um I did say if I do have a meniscus tear, an MCL tear, I'll have to go see a surgeon and it will most likely mean I'll need surgery. So I'm just hoping it's not. I'm just hoping it's just a real bad like strain or something. But to be in this much pain for the last four weeks, three, four weeks, it's not right. Like if it was like a sprain, it would have healed by now. Um, the pain would have gone away. So, I don't know what is going on with my knee and I can't wait for the scan tomorrow to get to find out why I'm in so much pain. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with my knee, that's what's going on with my health, wise, heart, everything. Other than that, I'm doing alright. Um, obviously, I haven't been able to swim, so I haven't been able to do any training for swimming for the last month. Since I got the diagnosis of POT syndrome. Um, he said that swimming is really good for POTS. On a. Like because like your sport where you're doing this. You're like you're just on your tummy. So you're laying down. But with how my heart rate is right now. He's not confident that I can do it. Because if I get dizzy or whatever in the pool. I'm going to pass out in the pool which means that's dangerous so he just wants me to hold off until i get my symptoms somewhat controlled which sucks for me plus now i've got my knee injury so i just physically can't swim anyway so but on the other hand my coaches have offered me a position to be a volunteer to help with a coaching side of things like i'm not going to be a fully qualified coach yet i was meant to be doing my coaching course last year but covid got in the way and i'm already going to do one person at a time so and my health got in the way so yeah that's not helping but yeah i'm just putting all my focus into bowling this year um because i'm going to nationals for bowling now i did have a bowling competition on the weekend i got fourth in singles and i got second in teams so silver my medals are hanging up over over there oh no what am i doing there um so yeah didn't have a good day yesterday yesterday was teams um i didn't bowl my best that's for sure um the pain in my knee just got real bad yesterday i just couldn't do it now usually with competitions like this if i was injured or in, you know not well i would pull out of the comp but this competition was a was mandatory for all athletes going to nationals so i kind of had to go um i had to compete i needed to be there um all competitions are mandatory for athletes going to nationals. They're not compulsory. They're mandatory. So, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Um, they know that I'm injured. They know I've got a bad knee. They know that I could possibly be going in for surgery. They don't know. Like, we don't know that yet. Um, so, I've given them the heads up. They all know how bad I was yesterday. So, they're giving me tips on how to manage the pain while bowling so it's good i'm also going to be getting a new knee brace soon a better one than this like an actual brace where it stops me from bending my knee or twisting my knee or whatever so that will be good um i think it'll take less of the pain away from my knee so yeah that's what's going on um so yeah that's life right now <sighs> life right now is very difficult also guys today is a very very important day for us australians and new zealanders because today is the 25th of april which means it is the day that we remember the soldiers before us that fought for our countries so it's anzac day australian new zealand Anzac corporate yeah, yeah I should know what it stands for but anyways so today is the day that we remember everyone that fought for our country so 
I'm going to just say, let's we forget. Let's remember those that have fought for our country. Hence why I'm wearing this badge. It's an Anzac badge. It's just the Anzac um, appeal badge. So we remember all those that have fought for our country. Um, I actually have family members that fought for our country. So I will remember them. So let's just do a minute silence. we forget we will remember them thank you for doing that one minute silence we will remember them that fought for our country for our freedom